Hi, my name is Anthony and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a backup of your device and store that backup safely. Trezor allows you to be your own bank, so you need to make sure you can manage your funds securely. When you first set up your Trezor, you'll be shown how to create a backup. If you have a Model T, you'll need to choose between standard recovery seed or a more advanced Shamir backup. Let's look at both of those options in more detail. A recovery seed, the standard backup option, is a list of 12 or 24 words that represent your private keys and contain all the information needed to recover your assets. Write the words down in order on the recovery seed cards that come with your Trezor hardware wallet and be sure to store them safely. If you're worried that you might lose your recovery seed to theft or damage, Shamir Backup might be a better option for you. With Shamir Backup, you can generate multiple unique shares and specify how many of those shares are needed to recover your funds. For example, I can choose to create three recovery shares and set the threshold to two out of three. That means that any two of those three shares will be needed to recover my wallet. Shamir Backup is especially useful when planning inheritance, as you can make sure that your loved ones will be able to access your assets long after you're gone. While both options give you complete control over your assets and serve as a secure offline backup of your wallet, the main differences are as follows. A recovery seed is a single list of words to take care of, while your Shamir backup can create up to 16 unique lists that you can distribute and store in different locations. Recovery seeds use 12, 18 or 24 words, while Shamir backup has multiple 20 or 33 word recovery shares. A recovery seed protects you from loss or damage of your Trezor, but a Shamir backup also eliminates the risk of loss or theft of your recovery seed itself. Standard recovery seed backup is available on both Trezor models, while Shamir is only available on the Trezor Model T. When writing down your recovery seed or recovery shares, you need to remember to firstly spell the words correctly and write them in the right order that they appear on your screen. Never make a digital copy of the list. And thirdly, to make sure to store them safely somewhere where they're out of reach of other people. Storing your recovery seed in a home safe or a hidden location on your property are good options, but there's still a risk of damage, loss or theft. If you're using Shamir Backup, you could store your recovery shares in multiple locations, which protects you from those risks. Memorizing your seed ensures it will never be found, but you must keep a physical backup somewhere as your memories can degrade. To be confident that your backup will survive in any hiding place, you might want to consider a metal backup instead. Metal backups protect your seed from fire, water and other environmental factors. There are several options available, including CryptoTag Zeus, a top choice for many, this plate design is made of titanium and it stores data as punched numbers. Then there's a crypto steel cassette, which stores data using small metal tiles and is still a good option, but not as resilient as the crypto tag. Finally, the crypto steel capsule duo contains two metal cylinders, which could contain multiple Shamir backup shares. If you found this information useful, be sure to check out the other videos on our channel and hit subscribe for more tips and explanations.